Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today at the Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment Studio. And I've got Chef George Perrier here along with Chip Roman of the Tremont Restaurant. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for having oh, thank us. You. What's on the menu? I don't know what's on the menu. So today we're going to do some French-inspired classics that I learned from uh, Chef Perrier. Very appropriate. We're going to do a French onion soup. Oh. Your way. My way. We'll do a salad lyonnaise, and then we're going to finish with creme brulee. So a kind of quick wintertime meal. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's get started. Let's get started. So I'll start with dessert. Even though it's last, it has to cook the longest. OK. So this is uh, in the Lebec Finn cookbook. We're going to take some cream. And Chef, if I'm doing this wrong, you'll correct me, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching. Am I doing this right? I just want you doing perfect. You're pouring right. the cream. I just poured the cream. That's right. That's all I did. And you're going to warm it up. <laughs> so we're going to warm up and the what cream. what are you going to do? You gotta make this woman work. You can make me work. Something. You wanna work too? She okay. Can she got a war. I'm sorry. She's not here to so work with you and me. So we're gonna here. You hold the bowl. I hold the bowl. You wanna crack the eggs? I will crack, crack the, eggs. the eggs into the bowl. All right. To While the bowl. Go ahead. We'll do it. We'll team effort here. Here. I hold I'm the gonna bowl split because a vanilla bean. So when we work with the vanilla food. beans, we wanna rub them up. Oh, that's good. What do you do that for? my place. To kind of get all the the oils and the flavor out of there. That's right. And that right, chef. All the beans, so the, the grain and the vanilla to go. And then we're going to scrape them? To the scrape them, see, that's all the perfume is here. Oh, yeah, I can smell, can smell it already. That? Can oh, smell yeah, that? sure. All Be the perfume. Be careful of the knife. And then you can save those and put those in sugar and I things like that. Ooh, I always here. keep to vanilla sugar in flavor. my kitchen. Yes. So if you want to whisk that up? And we'll put on the milk. We'll put in the milk. She stay. can whisk that up. Stay right here. Stay right here? Yes. All right. Do you have a towel? No, you, you have to turn like this. That's this? it, that's it. Not like that, Good. not like that. Not no, like no, that? The other way. The other way. Yeah. This way? Cool. The other way. Yeah. I'm the so other intimidated because like I'm cooking with a legend like here. Like this. Okay. Like this. So that's then it. we like have this. the warm cream. So okay. you want to put a little sugar here? Thank you, chef. That's why you're here. Oh, I'm glad I'm here. Wow. I was just keeping you on oh, your toes. Goodness. We'll stir that into dissolve. And you're going to add this? And we're going to add it to this. Keep that moving while you yeah, add so it. Yeah, so you right? don't want to go too fast because then you'll create air bubbles. Mm. And then when you go to uh, cook it, it'll be full of air pockets. And when you put the sugar on top, that's a great tip. It won't burn. Make sure you got all the sugar in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have yeah, to have it what sweet. What are you doing, Shin? All the sugar is here. That said, the recipe is done. No, 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 no. no I'm such glad you are here to save the day. So after it cooks like, after, after we stir it, it's going to look like this. And we're going to cook, cook this in a water bath. So when we put it in the oven, it won't uh, scramble. And I have another tip too. With a blowtorch from like the Home Depot anywhere, yeah. what you want to do is, after you put it in, you'll kind of see those air pockets there. If you take the torch, they're burnt. Oh, get out. So you burn it before I and you burn it after. That. I learned something. See That's that? great. Can so that gets rid of all the air. I think I do everything. What's wrong with me? So this will cook for about a half an hour, 45 minutes. Now we're going to make you know, our first course. We're going to do an onion soup. It's an onion broth soup with uh, Gruyere cheese and croutons. But you know the secret of the onion soup? What is the, the secret? The secret is to cook the onion slowly for a long time. It takes five hours to do an onion soup. That's a long time. Cool. We're going to start with a cold pot. OK. We'll put cold butter in. Why do you start with it cold? Because yes, what you serve with a cold. Well, I start with the coal because you know you don't want it to really brown. It's more mm -hmm. it's you don't want to slow and reduce. Okay, and reduce. That's almost a, like caramelizing that's sugar. That's a good idea. We'll add a little bit of salt, and what that does is that kind of pulls out the moisture. Mm -hmm. This is about here is about 25 onions. Um, is it really? For about six hours. Yeah. 25 onions, the same size as that. Yeah, so they kind of really that's consolidate. That's incredible. That's a lot of onion. Mm -hmm. So after, so this is the uh, we started here. This is about five hours later. All you're doing is stirring it. You can kind of put it on a on a diffuser. Then we're going to put brown flour in it, and what that is is just regular all-purpose flour that we toast in an oven. And then we put it through. And when you put brown flour, tell me what It just adds flavor and it thickens it a little bit. Uh, who teach you how to do this? George Perry hey, told oh, me. Oh, thank you. I'm glad I'm here. Well, OK, I, so. So now we're going to put a little white wine. Yeah, Is that little, OK? Not too much, just a little bit. You tell me when. That's it. Onion soup is always good, but you don't want to put too much white wine mm -hmm. because the white wine will give a strong flavor. You don't want that. Too strong. Yeah. And then we put the chicken stock. OK. Now you can also use beef stock. You can even use a vegetable stock. That's right. Everything. Vegetable stock is Yeah, everyone good makes right. it different. Yeah. So. so, Chip, what are the names of your restaurants that you have right now? So we have Blackfish, Mica, Ella, Tradestone, um, Tradestone Confections, the Tremont. Quite a few. Arena Del Mar. We have a, a hotel in Costa Rica. We have two restaurants really? there. Stay tuned for more with Chef George Perrier and Chip Roman.
now return to the Chef's Kitchen at Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment Studio. So after about two hours of that cooking, it's going to look like this. Wow. And this is the base. You can, you can, you know, we always let it sit overnight. It kind of tastes better the next day. Yeah. You can freeze it in like the, the wonton soup containers that we get, mm -hmm. you know, takeout in. We have croutons. Um, we did the exact same thing that we did with the flour. We browned them for the flavor. So you want this? Yes, I want some bouillon. I want everything. Wow, what did you do that, that way? For the camera. Ah, for the camera. I'm so sorry. See, you learn something every day. Yes, wow. How's that? That's great. Great? Yeah, and then you put the crouton. Two croutons, that's enough. And then we put it here. Fill here. And the cheese. The cheese you is the, the best cheese. part. Is that sure, Gruyere? the cheese is Gruyere, yeah. Gruyere is the best, best part. So you can shred Absolutely. it, you can slice it. I like you to can slice sli it. Mm -hmm. Which Some way do you like it? Like this? I like it like this. Just like a little this? bit easier. I love it when it kind of crusts all around the a outside. Win. That's a my a favorite a part. A oh my god. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know what you like in your life. <laughs> Don't I she? certainly she do. Does. Wow. So then we have this beautiful imperial salamander. To get it real close right. to that broiler. That's perfect. So you just want to broil it. Perfect. Also at home, if you don't have one of these, back to our friend the blowtorch, you can just oh, put yeah. it in an oven and oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, makes great. it nice yeah. and crispy at the end. Oh, that's exciting. So Very chef, exciting. while that's still, why don't we uh, poach some eggs for the salad and yes. Let's poach this some is eggs. your classic salad. You can Did you know how to poach eggs? I do know how to poach eggs. Uh, we have the water. Check, Check this cheese. It's okay. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Perfect like Perfect. You. So, Vinegar, we're gonna poach the eggs, but this has to boil. So, so while we, we're waiting for that to come up, let's do the frise. Let's do the frise. So when you buy frise, a lot of times you'll buy it like this. Yep. What we'll do is we'll take it and we'll kind of give it a big haircut. <laughs> so you really just want the more the, the yeah, why is that, Chef? Why do you want the white? We just don't want the white mm -hmm. because the green on the frise is it's, it, it doesn't look good on a plate and it has no flavor. So I, love the, want, I love frizzy. Yeah, sure, frizzy is the best salad. So you have to saute the uh, bacon. Okay. We want to brown the bacon. So you warm up the pan. No, no oil, no, no nothing. Mm -hmm. Because the fat of the bacon will, will, will go on the pan. And uh, uh, Chip's going to make a little vinaigrette. You're going to make a little vinaigrette? Maybe? Sure. So we'll just do a simple vinaigrette. Yes. To dress the salad. Did you know how to do a simple vinaigrette, my chef? Maybe you should teach us again. I'm, I, I forget. I would love you to teach forget. us. Forget? How could you forget? A little mustard. Mm -hmm. Dijon? Dijon. Not too much. A little bit more. Like this. You do it. All right. So you mix it up. Salt, you, pepper. You pour in. I will. So pepper, little salt. And always, when we make a vinaigrette, the vinegar first. Where's the vinegar? Right here. And a vinegar. Mm -hmm. Red wine? Red wine. That's it. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Move, 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 move. Good. And then we have a... Uh, That's walnut oil and yellow salad. Walnut oil, oil and olive oil. Okay. So a little bit walnut oil because olive oil is a little too strong mm -hmm. and it will give a too strong flavor. So you want to mix up the two oils, always good. Now, would you ever use the fat that you render from the bacon yeah. for this? No. No, never? No, never. Why never? Because the fat is not good, it's too greasy. And it's, it's, okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So we put a little bit, we curl it like this. We have a little bit of oil. You're doing good. I like the way you do this. Okay, go ahead, 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 go ahead. You got good hands. Thank you. Wow. You got to go and don't turn that sauce. If you turn that sauce, I'm a dead man. He's going to fire me. I will not. I promise. We you got promise? this. We got this. Yeah. OK. We should be good here. I think so. So you sauté the bacon. Yep. You want to start the potatoes? The I'll put this one in the back. Yeah, put it in the back. Yeah, fine. We can start the potatoes here. So put a little bit of oil and butter here. Mm -hmm. Take the potatoes. Do you want this on higher heat? Oh, yeah, higher low? heat. But we have to, you know, we have to dry this. We have to dry this. Mm -hmm. We can never saute potatoes with water on it. Did you brunoise these yourself? Brunoise, yeah, that's yeah. nice. I love these potatoes, brunoise like this because, and it tastes good, they're beautiful, but my God, if you have water on this, mm -hmm. this is catastrophic. I want you to dry the potatoes. Okay. That's it, dry nicely. Good. Oh. Yeah, 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 I like that, I like that. You know, when I was a, 
When I was a young man, I put the salad. And I used to go in my garden, and I used to do like this with yeah. the salad. Because we didn't have the, the fancy stuff. That's how that I do it at home. You do that yes. at home? Mm -hmm. oh, it yeah. gets rid of all the water. Oh, God. You're a special woman. Oh. oh, your husband must be so happy, man. OK, go ahead. Put the potatoes. All of them? Yes, all of yeah? them. Yeah? No, we want to make a nice okay. salad. I know the owner of this place. He love, uh, he lo he's a vegetarian, so he loves uh, stuff like this. So we want to make sure he tasted it, because I want to be sure he invite me again to come here, because, you know, we never know. Maybe he say, I never want you to come back. You never know. No, and I, I could sleep at night if you said that. <laughs> so, Chef, you want to show us the eggs? Why you don't so show them at the I'll, eggs? Then you were doing such a good job. Oh, but I, I don't want to do everything. You got to do something. All right, so when we... No, no, don't do it like this. Oh, la, 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 la. You, you show me. You do it like this, you fire. Oh, my God. Oh. He's ready to break the eggs straight on the floor. You loved me five minutes ago. Oh, I still love you. That's the way to do it. Now. So always into another dish Yes, first. and then after, I want you to pour this in here. You do it, you pour in here. You want me to put it in there? Yes, you pick the plate. Now, do you spin the water at all? No, don't no, spin the water. Right wait, in. wait, the water, boy. Now, go ahead. Okay. Drop it. Right. Slowly. Drop it. Good, your husband <laughs> must be an happy man, man. Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. This kitchen is amazing. They have everything. Everything that I need is here. This is the best kitchen I cooked in on, on television since I've been doing it. So do you want the water to boil that much for, for the egg? Yes, it's You okay. do? It's OK? Yeah. OK. Why? I don't you know. Don't like, you don't You're like, the master. You don't like it hot, well, I like get, it hot. Well, you get so much foam on the top. But what that does is as the water in, in the current, that's it kind of right. swirls it around. OK. And that's what makes it a perfect egg shape. The oh, okay. Do you saute the potatoes? Wow. I'm impressed here. So we want to see if this egg is OK. A little bit more. So. And I saw you added just a little bit of vinegar in there. Yeah, the vinegar. You know what the vinegar does? It helps them coagulate. Right. So you can take it out. I think it's ready. OK. And then you drop it into an ice bath. Kind of see the baking's rendering slowly. Do you like to just do all of these? Watch or? yourself there, Chef. Not yet. We, we want to wait till the potatoes are brown. So. Yes. So we have the salad frisé. Mm -hmm. So we this is how it comes plate, out. Chef. We have the plate. We do have the plates. OK. So you want to make the soup first or the salad first? Soup first. You know, when you do this, you it's go. always nice to have a teflon pot. Why is that? Because the teflon, uh, it, it's a soft. They don't stick? They don't stick. Mm -hmm. Because here, it sticks a little bit. But okay. It's OK, but it, it sticks. It should not I stick. I see. You see what I'm saying? Yes. It sticks a little bit. But we, we get it, we get it. And we want, I, I like those little crispy bits on the bottom. That's the best part. Yeah, but you want it crispy. You want all mm -hmm. crispy, all night. So maybe, maybe, do we have another pen like this, no? Oh, How's Teflo. That? Good? Oh, good, 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 good. Let me warm it up here a little bit. OK. Quickly warm. And we put a little bit butter, butter, a little mm -hmm. bit butter. Just a touch, a touch, not too much. Because it's bad for bit. cholesterol. That's it. OK, where's the onion soup? It's cooked? It's right over here. Over here. So we'll start that now? Yes, go ahead. You know the crouton? Yes, let's finish the onion soup. So we're going to put two croutons crouton. in the... Two croutons. Wait, two? Two croutons. And then we're going to put the cheese, which... Where's the cheese? Just like the old days. <laughs> put the cheese. I worked for a chef for five years. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I kind of understand the language. <laughs> so when I do it, as, like I said, some people grate it. I like to do it with slices. Mm -hmm and kind of make like a fan. Because I like it when it falls down on the sides. Me too, exactly. That's like the good part. Exactly. So you have to kind of like arrange it to do mm -hmm. that. Can I put this in the cheese. salamander, chef? What? Can we put it in the salamander? It'll be yes, ready? Yes, salamander. OK. Yes, my chef. So this will only take? Three minutes. Yeah, if, if that. Yeah. The cheese does what it wants to do. So now what I like to do is start with the sides. It's rustic. Rustic, yeah. Rustic's good. I think so. And then we'll just finish it with some chives. Mm. More oniony flavor. And then before we take it over to the uh, tasting table, we'll grab a plate. Something smells good. I don't know what. It all smells good. That's huh? me, chef. 
Okay, something is meant good. So then I pick it so up like potatoes. that. Those potatoes. There we go. And see, the cheese got all over the place, but it's okay. It's, it's all right. I'll it's, eat that. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best part. Exactly. They look great. Wow. Now we have to season the salad, chef. Okay. You do that? I can do that? Perfect. You do that. So we'll start with some salt and pepper. Wow. Wow, look at that. Wow. So talented. Wow. That was great. That was great. Thanks. Wow. You wow. build my confidence. So you put some vinaigrette. I don't like a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can always add more. Just lightly dressed. And then with clean hands, just kind of toss it. Mm -hmm. You can put fresh herbs if you like. Okay. So this is a lot. You know, maybe we'll make a salad for two here you can share. Is that a good idea, chef? Eh? Salad for two? Yes, yeah, salad for two. More. This is salad for three. Why well, I need more, almost more vinegar, chef. More, more vinegar, more everything. Wow, well, I gotta teach you everything, don't I? I'll take it. Well, it's okay. Keep, keep teaching. Keep teaching. I think it's great. You like it? Mm-hmm. You think it's enough vinegar? Is there enough vinegar? Mm-hmm. You can maybe use a tiny bit more, but oh, I think yes, it's good. Yes, thank you, a little bit more vinegar. So I'll just add some straight vinegar. Yeah, straight vinegar like this. A little bit more, a little bit more. Thank you, my chef. A little bit more oil. I know, I know what I'm talking about. I don't even shake anymore. I love this. I know. I really love the walnut oil in there. It's so really subtle. Because it, it gives a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. Perfect. So let's not it's forget the eggs. I'll warm the eggs up here. Good. It's good? You know, it better be good because I, I know the owner of this place is a vegetarian, so he loves that salad. I'm well, going to no make it. No bacon on him. No I'm bacon, gonna make it No bacon on him. No Don't egg. worry about it. I'm not putting no bacon. I know him. He's my friend. <laughs> I used to cook for him. Why'd you stop? Because I don't have a restaurant anymore. Oh, Sula. you don't need a restaurant to cook. Give me a two plate. I need more plate. I have one plate, not enough. Give me a fork and a, and a... A what? A spoon? Yeah, to pick up the salad. There you go. And There's I don't like plates. to pick up with my hand. All right. Then if you use your hand, you put glove. Okay. And a glove is okay. Now, is this your favorite salad? I love that salad. Mm. I invented that salad. You invented this? Yeah. I did. I love that salad. Well, it's... how old are you then? It's a very old salad. I was, uh, I don't know. I You're was, 69, uh, right? I mean, I started in this business. I was 23 years old. So, uh, you know how old I am? 30? Oh, I love this woman. Wow, I'm 72 years old. Wow. You don't look a day over 30. Stay tuned for more from Nordine Preferred Kitchen Equipment. Well, the new restaurant edition Chef's Kitchen is great. I feel like uh, I've grown up here, and I feel like, you know, I'm coming back to sort of a new and improved kitchen. I wish this was my home kitchen. Chef, you finish, you put the bacon. This is for the honor of this place, my friend, because okay. I know he doesn't like bacon. And he's my friend, and I love him, and I make the salad specially for him. Okay, let's do some more. We have bacon here too. Yeah, let's put egg. the bacon now here, uh, chef. Mm. And the poached eggs. Oh, I didn't put the poached egg for Steve. Maybe we are we bring him the poached eggs. And we put this in here. Okay. People can eat. That'll it. be mine. That's you. Yeah, the big one. Wow. You guys can share that one, chef. Wow. You can share it. Now you're starting. Don't you to like to share? I love to share. Here's the bacon. Wow. Okay, where's the poached eggs? Ah, thank you. Put the poached eggs. All right. And you just need a poached egg on top, and that's yes, it. Yes, that's it. So we'll put the egg on, then we'll do we'll do dessert. Great. We'll move these over to the tasting table. Yes, Perfect. tasting Wonderful. table. Tasting table. So these are some creme brulees we did, you know, ahead of time. It's always better to let them sit overnight, mm -hmm. and we use all kind of different vessels. We take sugar in the raw. Why sugar in the raw? It caramelizes a little bit better. The white sugar dissolves real quick, and, and this is a bigger grain. It, the bigger grains are better? Yeah, and they don't dissolve. If you create water, it'll be more like, mm -hmm. it'll make more like a syrup. Okay. Again, back to our blow torch. You know, we've used it a lot today. Yep. Simple. Don't go like this, get crazy, just small circles. Okay. I, look I like good. it a little bit more, you know, dark. Yeah, I look good. creme brulee. I like it. Beautiful. There's something for you, one for you. I'll start with dessert. 
I'm going to go what for the salad. What do you mean you start with dessert? Look. I like dessert first. See? Oh, oh it's perfect. 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 Great job. Great job. And it's good with the salad. It's mm. delicious. Let me taste the onion soup. Wow, look at this. Mmm. Mm. So good. Nice flavor. I feel like I'm in France. What? Yes, you're right. Mm. We'll not, take that boat right to France. Not people can cook this. The way it's done. I like that. Wow. That's perfect. That French onion soup. And I have to finish with dessert. Good? Mmm. Yeah. Enough vinegar? Perfect. Perfect. You want George, some more? Chip, thank you both so much. Thanks this was a us. very thank, fun thank time on the Chef's Kitchen. Oh, you're so wonderful. See you again. For the viewer who is passionate about food and wine, the Chef's Kitchen provides tips and techniques from the country's most exclusive restaurants. Tune in next time to see one of the nation's top chefs, such as George Perrier, Roberto Donna, Jose Garces, Michael Schlau, or Tony Clark, as they share their culinary talents and unique creativity. Learn how to make the delectable dishes and hip creations they're serving in today's restaurants, or impress your family with a culinary twist on tonight's dinner. Check our website for listings in your area or today's recipe. First of all, it was very emotional for me because to cook with him was the first guy who ever worked for me. And he was so talented from the beginning and I'm so proud of the career that he has done and what he has accomplished. It was kind of like a homecoming too. I used to do a lot of these shows with Chef too. And the equipment is amazing. It's far superior than what, what we're used to using. Our kitchen is beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, beautiful.